Attack on Titan, Season 3, Episode 3, Old Story. What is going on, party people? It is I, Fumencho, back at it once again with another Attack on Titan Season 3 episode review slash reaction. Today we are checking out Episode 3, Attack on Titan. It is back in full force. Last week's episode was really, 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 really good. Like, scary good. And the episode before that was just as good if... Uh, it's just, this series is, is on fire. It's Attack on Titan. It feels like Attack on Titan. It is Attack on Titan. It is breathing, and it, you can feel the hot breath. Okay, I'm done. Uh, anyway, today it's time to watch this episode together. I'm uh, going to do a little reaction, and then I'm going to be talking about it in a review. Should be fun. Uh, I believe we're getting into, like, Erwin's backstory here, talking a little bit about his past. Uh, secrets are about to spill, though. Uh, there are some things that, that Lord Rise is holding back. There's some stuff. I, like, now Eren and, and Historia, they're, like, with her father or something. I don't really know what's going on there. Historia is like the heir to the throne sort of deal. It's getting crazy. There's a lot of political stuff happening. Uh, and also, there's Kenny, and he's terrifying, and he's just killing people right and left. So, we shall see what happens. On three, we're going to start. One, two, three. This opening gives me chills. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. It is... Like, Hyde just has that voice. That haunting voice. So good. And then the animation just showing everyone, like... From the past and Kenny there like I can't wait to get into that backstory I'm so and then there's Erwin there looking at his childhood self like I love that such a good just like oh my goodness this hides one of the greatest singers that's alive today I'm sorry I'll say it seeing Aaron just standing there with his childhood self like checking on him like are you kidding me that is so like it's so deep, you know? Like, and yet it's just so beautifully animated. And it's a short opening, too. Alright, here we are. Episode 40, Old Story. Okay, we're getting a little... Backstory on, on Historia. Damn, what? <laughs> what is this OST? What are we doing here? This is crazy. Yo. What is happening? Why is Kenny here? Wow. Wow. in front of her daughter. Oh my god, guys. Rod Rice, you cannot. How could she? How could she forgive you, dude? You are scary, dude. Yo, Hanji. What is this OST? What is he implying there? I'm really curious, like... Holy <laughs> <laughs> Yo, really? Oh no! And then they'll be able to control... We haven't seen Pixis in a long time. <laughs> Man, Erwin just collected. He just, he knows what's going on. He knows. 
Information available for public disclosure. Intelligent Titans with power to transform. An intelligent titan is conceived when a pure titan lacking intelligence consumes some other intelligent titan. By consuming an intelligent titan, it gains consciousness, as well as the consumed titan's powers. That is insane. I'm, I'm just so glad that we, we finally have this information. Like, this, it, it's kind of like what we've predicted, or, you know, people that don't read the manga. But I'm just, it's finally here. Like, we finally know. And that's so cool. Intelligent titans, like, that's what they're called. And they get th th that consciousness, that, that mind when they eat humans of intelligence. Or when they eat titans of intelligence, excuse me. Yeah, when they, when they eat titans. But, like, Eren is a titan, technically. So if a titan were to eat him, he would gain... They would gain that power that Eren has. Which is insane. But, like, who is... I, I need to get back in the episode. What am I doing? <laughs> so he's plotted this all out. Yo, Pixis. Yo, Erwin is just a boss. Just the amount of swagger. Yo. Oh man, is Erwin throwing his life away? Yo. Yo. Oh no. Oh, no. Erwin. Erwin is boss. No question. <laughs> oh, man. I love, I love those motives. This tension, guys. This tension is real. Oh, my God. Don't even get me started on this ED. Oh man, well, obviously now things are, are a little bit slower than last week, and, and that is okay. Uh, we have a story to tell, we have information to give to the viewers, and, and that information is being received. Uh, I, I, like, I like how much information we get in this episode. There's some reveals for sure. There's some stuff that, that, that I have questioned as a viewer since the very beginning that is being answered now. And I feel like more is to come in terms of answers. Uh, I really... I, I, again, like, I, I was reading in the middle of the episode about, you know, the Titans eating other intelligent Titans to gain that intelligence. That's something that I feel like a lot of fans, you know, anime-only fans, of course, have uh, predicted for the longest time. And I feel like it's just, now that we have that, there's closure among, uh, among the groups that were theorizing about it. It's like, I, I, and I like that. I like that we finally have that information. Uh, I think that it's, it's, it's crucial that a series strings along these questions at a reasonable pace, and I feel like they've been doing that. I feel like that that nothing is like too confusing. Nothing is is, is, is I'm not like losing my mind over the the series. I'm not like I can't I can sleep at night knowing that this an this was answered, and I like that. I like how they they've, they've paced these. Now I can't say for the entire series, you know, things have have worked out in terms of you know big reveals and, and, and you know them kind of stringing us along. I mean, we still don't know what's going on in the basement what is that key for we still don't really know anything about Aaron's father and and I again that is okay as long as it does get answered eventually uh, but it's just nice to know that they're finally starting to answer these questions so maybe something along the lines of Aaron realizing what is in the basement is coming soon maybe that is going to happen in this season I've heard some rumors that it, it possibly will so that excites me that excites me that we finally are going to get those answers yeah uh, the OST in this episode was spectacular. I really, really like the, 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 the sort of tension they build in these scenes. I love how... Just, it, I don't know, like, I, I, it, it feels big. It feels grand. And that's something that I really like about Attack on Titan. Especially this season, just going into this season. They're really unapologetic about how big this series is. They're really just like, yes, this is it. It's so cinematic. And it feels... Large. It feels larger than, say, a My Hero Academia or 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 a Banana Fish. It feels just more grand in scale. And of course, you know, it is. Let's get real. Like there's 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 crazy things happening. There's titans. There's political views. There's there's like traitors and espionage happening. There's lots of moving parts to this series. 
And sometimes that's not a good thing. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I kind of get a little lost in all that. It's kind of hard to follow. Uh, but I feel like, as of right now, Wit Studio is doing a really good job of, of kind of explaining this, the, all of this craziness, you know, when it comes to the political stuff, when it comes to the Rice family or the Rays family, wherever, however you pronounce it, when it comes to their agenda, when it comes to what's going on with royalty right now and how, you know, and now characters are dying. I really like that that they're, this is coming at us in a reasonable pace for us to actually understand it. For me to actually understand it. I, I know that a lot of viewers don't have a problem with this, but for me, like, it, I've had a problem with this in the past with other series, but it, this series is doing a good job at it. That's basically what I'm trying to say. I, I like that. I, and I think that it's easy, very, very easy, to get lost in all of this uh, in terms of, 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 of this type of storytelling. And I feel like... In the manga, you know, I've heard complaints about this part in the manga, and I don't know if it's about this specifically, but I heard that in the manga, this part in the series, the political intrigue arc, or whatever they call it, is really, really slow, and just begrudgingly, just dialogue heavy, and, and, and it's just a lot of this, and that is okay, as long as I understand this, and I think that that is what Wit Studio is not necessarily changing, but just rearranging in a way for us to to put ease on the viewership. I think that that is what Wit Studio is doing. The author of the series even said that he wanted to change things in this arc. He feels that, that, that it was a little heavy-handed in that arc and he wants to kind of not necessarily fix things but explain things in a better way that are it's a little bit faster, it's a little bit easier to get. Uh, and, and I like that. You know, again, I don't know this 100%. I don't know the, ma the mangaka's, you know, motive when it comes to the anime series. I don't know what it, the full story there. That's what I've heard. I've just heard that he wanted to change some things, and I don't even know what those specific things are. But I've heard people complain about the manga in that vein, saying that it's getting a little crazy, it's getting a little hard to... It's just a lot, and I feel like that the anime series is doing a good job at adapting that. That's all I'm trying to say. You know, I'm not confirming that, you know, the author actually said... Yo, look, I, I don't, I don't like this arc. This arc is terrible. Let's fix it in the anime. He didn't, actually, he didn't say that. He just, it, it just, I think that it, when it comes to an adaptation, I think they're going to make it a little less complicated for the viewership, and and that's a good thing. That is a good thing. Uh, Irwin in this episode was just spectacular. I really like his character. I've always liked Irwin. I mean, everyone loves Irwin, but I like how he's so collected. He's so calm. He's not thrown off by surprise by the enemy or anything like that. He is just very astute and, and has a very calm mind and in his backstory him being responsible for his father's death was it was man like wow uh, in Historia's backstory as well Krista uh, her having to literally see her mother die right in front of her killed right in front of her but what does that mean to her she was never close to her so there's like there's that going on as well she always wanted that relationship there I still you know it, it's Wow, it, it is hard to watch. It really is. It's getting it's getting to the point where it's just like it's painful. It's painful to see that stuff. I love the stuff with Hanji as well. Her becoming the squad leader that is awesome. I love I love Hanji as a character. I really like that that she's kind of this. Not this. She's 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 very normal. You know, she's she has a very very. She's kind of like us in this story. You know, she's kind of thrown off a lot and she's she's confused at times. And I like that. I like how she seems more human than the rest of the cast when it comes to, like, Levi. Levi's just a cold, calculated man. And, you know, of course, Erwin as well. He's very calm and collected. But but Hanji's a little bit different. Hanji, although very, very smart, she's arguably smarter than those two. She just has a different kind of mindset and a different kind of humanity within her. Um, and I like that. I really, really do. Uh, I hope in the next coming episodes we do get a little bit more... Uh, about the squad itself, about Armin, about Jean, about you know Aaron and Mikasa. I kind of want more of them. It's been a little while since we've since we've seen not them in action, but just them as characters, you know, being able to do something. So I hope that we get that in next week's episode. By the looks of the preview, we are. So that's going to be fun. Uh, but all in all, this is still I'm I'm really enjoying this series as a whole. Like I'm really enjoying the story that they're telling. It's very. It's very complex, and again, there's a lot of moving parts, but the fact that I can follow it, the fact that I can understand it, and the fact that, that I am enjoying it, those are all good things in terms of how this adaption is working. And that's pretty much all I have to say today. This is a this is a good episode. I really enjoyed it. Make sure to comment down below and give me your thoughts on this week's episode of Attack on Titan. What did you think of, of this? What do you think of this arc so far? This political intrigue arc. Because remember, this series 
it didn't start this way. The series was very, not necessarily action heavy, but it was very, you know, plot forward kind of thinking. And, and now things are taking a little, it's a little bit slower now. And, and how do you feel about that? Do you think that the series is suffering because of that? Or do you think that it's okay? I think that after 40 episodes, we can do stuff like this. I think that it has earned the right to do this. But I'm curious what you guys think. Comment down below and let me know. Thank you very, very much for watching. It's always a pleasure to have your viewership. It means a lot to me. Um, and, you know, thank you to all my subscribers. And if you hit the like button or comment down below, just know that I appreciate it. And that's pretty much it. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.